Mm. I'm Dustin from C4 Labs, and since designing the Zebra case, I've been thinking a lot about how to integrate hats into the case. But it's been kind of a difficult challenge because there are so many different hats. Some have ports, some don't have ports, some are high, some are low. And trying to come up with an addition to the Zebra case that fits a lot of those without looking awkward has just taken me time. And I'm the kind of person that doesn't put something out into the world till I feel good about it. And so I didn't want to rush with a half-baked solution. But today we released sort of a beta version that I think is a, a strong step in the right solution. And I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. Because it is beta, it might change a little, might change a lot. But I figured it's best to get it in your hands and have you guys let me know what you think. So let me show you how it works. Refocus real quick. Oh, come on. Sorry for all the buzzing. Okay, so what we have is the regular zebra. And what you would do is take a screwdriver, unscrew the screws from the bottom, and hold the case together. and then just push it on the ground. This will knock all the nuts up and you won't need to reassemble everything. All you'll need to do is take the, two, the top two layers off. From there, what you will do is take first the clear layer. Now what I did is I added scribes along the way. So if you want to break it at a specific section, it makes it um, possible to break it consistently. And I didn't have the lines go all the way across so that hopefully while you're peeling the paper off, it'll more or less stay in one piece so you don't have to be scraping off lots of little pieces. So once you have your piece C, just hold on either side and snap. It breaks pretty clean it, it's more or less square. If you were worried about a sharp edge, you could sand it down. I haven't had a problem with that, and especially since it's sort of facing on the inside of the case, it's not like a sharp edge is sticking out to where you're gonna be rubbing your hand. I don't think it's gonna be an issue. But you guys try it and let me know what you think. I put the scribes where I think there's generally gonna be the most ports. But you'll, again, just have to let me know what you guys think. So if you want to break one of those, you break it and then put the board in. There's a little skirt for the hat. It would then have a uh, colored layer. And the next are these O pieces. I've already peeled some. The short kit comes with two pieces and a clear plate, which is enough for most of your, your lower profile hats. And that would come with screws. What I would do is pinch them together and then replace the screws and that'll allow you to get everything together within a, a few minutes. The great thing though is, is that because these tube nuts have are sunken into the layers, if you want, you can remove one of the layers. Say like if this was a screen and you wanted buttons to press, you could just take the top layer off and uh, put the screw in that way. And in this configuration, it sticks out just a little bit, but I don't think that bothers me. Um, the other thing I forgot to mention 
is that even though these scribes allow you to break it at certain sections, once everything's sandwiched together, it's pretty strong because even though your piece can break when you're bending it sort of this way, it's not going to break when something's hitting it from the side. Um, but let me show you the tall version real quick. Say you have a hat with these tall ports. What you would need is, in some cases, to actually break the layer below it. So you take your first layer. Again, they're scribes, so pretty straightforward to break it that section right there. Then the hat fits in. The board skirt will go down around it. And then from there, we would build up, kind of hold it over it, see where you want to break it, snap it, snap it. Um, you do the same with the O pieces. Obviously, you need to be a little more conscious. You don't want to just start torquing on it. But as long as you're conscious, it seems to work pretty consistently and pretty cleanly. The taller hat includes basically just two more O pieces so that it gets another quarter inch above the board, which allows it to clear a lot of the taller ports. Um, and if you have a sharp edge, it's actually, in my opinion, pretty easy here. It looks like it broke sharp edge and it, it was blunted with my fingernail pretty quick. Um, pull this screw out, put the taller screws in, uh oh, no, come back, come back, crap, rescued. Um, and then from there, it should just screw on. One of the other tips I have is that after you get the screws in, I like to push the nuts in all the way down before I try and screw things together. And that just helps them line up. So I won't put the back two screws on, but you can see there's a reasonable amount of room and those scribes allow it to break pretty cleanly. There's one on the bottom, so if you have any ports coming out the bottom, you can break it there. If you have any on the sides, it'll break there or along here. And if you don't have ports there, it allows it to remain strong, just like the normal Zebra case. So that's beta version one. You guys let me know what you think. I'm sure that it's gonna continue to improve because I, I feel good about this, but I'm sure there's going to be continual development as I get some feedback. So anyway, thanks again.